what's going on you guys back with an early morning video i haven't done one of these in a long time so as i'm sitting outside of the campus waiting on them to come and unlock the gates you know god put something on my spirit and i've been up from like four o'clock this morning and i was just thinking i really want to share this message and I probably spoke on it a time or two in other videos, but the narcissist will not change because they cannot change. The person who you grew to to understand as being someone way different from what you thought, that's who they are. They show you who they are. You know, they may have pretended like they changed for a while you know they do what they do to get you back but they cannot change and you cannot change them don't think because things are looking good you know for like a long period of time if you're giving them the benefit of the doubt don't think that they've changed and that's just who they are now no one just wakes up and decides okay you know after a pattern of being a certain way you know mistreating people and abusing you that they're just gonna up and change the next day it doesn't happen like that just like all of us we have things that we need to work on things that we want to work on to better ourselves as a person but narcissists they don't think that way they know how to pretend to be that way they know how to put that out there and speak on it like i want to change i'm going to change i'm trying to change you know, those are just words. They're just saying it. They're going to sing that same old song because they know that that is going to give you hope that maybe, you know, they want to change. But just because they're saying that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen. They're not thinking about working on themselves. You know, um, it's all about intentions. And the narcissist, everything they did to you was intentionally. It's always you know some premeditated um you know thing that they come up with in order to stay in control of you or to punish you because they lost control of you it's going to always be either or so what you see is what you get with the narcissist and just because they claim to have changed or they want to i mean you you can't just think that okay you know i'm going to give that to you I mean, and just go with it. Don't be so easy on them. Let them know that if you really want to change, first of all, don't change for me. Change for you. And give yourself some time to do some soul searching. And, and think about, like, how did I, you know end up in this situation with this person and you know just kind of like question yourself sometimes like why did I end up with this type of person how did I allow them to treat me that way for so long why was I you know blind to the signs you know just question yourself but not be hard on yourself just do some soul searching to kind of figure out what made you tolerate that for such a long time but again, the narcissist, when they show you who they are, believe it the first time and don't just like put it out of your mind because they claim that they're going to change, you know, and don't give them second chances because they're begging and pleading with you to watch. I'm going to show you, you know. Let them know that, okay, if you want to change to be this better person, do it on your own time. Not on mine. I'm, I'm deciding to, you know, just like work on me now. Focus on me and get closure from what I went through with you and stuff. And, you know, give it to them easy and, and you know, just ease yourself away from that. Walk away from that because you deserve 
you know, you just deserve the clarity of knowing why did you even tolerate that? And the narcissist, they just want to stay in control. They just tell you what you want to hear or they tell you what they think you want to hear. But don't fall for it. Don't be quick to give them a second chance. The longer you just continue to let them feed you all of that crap, you know, the more it takes away thoughts of, you know, what you want to do for yourself. Because they don't even want you to think like that in the first place. They want you to continue to just fall, you know, just fall for the gimmick of who they were pretending to be. They don't want you to better yourself. They don't want you to separate yourself from them. They want to stay in your life. They want to stay in control because what the narcissist is always about power and control. And as long as you continue to get them second chances, you know, you're just giving them their way. you letting them have their way. And they know how to play the game. They know how to play the game of telling you what you want to hear or just not so much telling you what you want to hear because, of course, you don't want to hear a bunch of lies. You know, they hurt you once. Why would you want to go through that again? You don't want to go through that. But when you don't really fully understand the fullness of how these individuals operate, you will pretty much fall for anything that they feed you. Like, just don't take the bait. Don't be so quick to believe everything they say. As far as wanting a second chance to prove to you that they are a better person. You know, um, and so that's just a quick message that I wanted to give y'all this morning while I sit outside, um, waiting to get into this building at work. Um, because I'm just thinking like narcissists, they know who to do that to. They know to do it to people. They know to do it to people who, you know, who not going to be hard on them and not put them up to the challenge you know but with me why i go through so much with the narc i work with is because i have shown her time and time again that the reason why we can never be friends again i don't want to be a part of your life again and you cannot be a part of my life again is because you have shown me time and time again that you haven't changed even though you claim to have changed you know, the mouth say anything, but action speaks louder than words. Oh, old saying, and that's just something that you, you have to hold them to their fire. Like they have to really prove to you that they've changed. And even when so, you still don't owe them anything, you know? They don't deserve, you know, they're not entitled to be a, a part of your life, you know. So do some soul searching and start to just get back to you and focus on you and healing and just going forward with your life, not dealing with this toxic individual who has taken so much from you because you deserve so much more. You have lost so much, but you deserve so much more and you will get it all back you will get everything that you deserve you know and then narcissists put them through hell torture them let them know that you know you did this to yourself you know i didn't do you anything by um stepping out of your life you did this to yourself you have to teach them a lesson you know and they'll figure it out you know it's gonna be rough sometimes there's gonna be some battles they're going to do some things that's going to really get under your skin. But, you know, we're going to talk about this in the future and just different ways of dealing with it. I'm going to get back to my, you know, after the discard type videos to know kind of help y'all get along and go along after the narcissist. So I'm going to see y'all later. I'm going to talk to y'all later. I have another video, some things I want to speak on later on. Um, I want to talk about um, 
in the next video, which I will be posting today. I just want to talk about it is dealing with narcissism. So y'all just stay tuned for that later on. I need to get inside, so I'll talk to y'all later.